Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we made our way back to Cynthia's crime scene, where we found the train handle for the King Street Line train. Weirdly enough, it still looks like a spoon to me, even though I know it's a train handle. But uh, anyway, now that I've got it, and I've reunited with Eileen, I need to head back with them to the train, stick that in, and we're going to take the train to somewhere. I have no idea where. A couple interesting things I want to mention. I was just thinking about this. A long time ago, I mean, not that long, but like, I don't know, one or two episodes ago, we first encountered the ghost Cynthia that's pinned down to the ground right here. And our goal was to go get Cynthia's stuff, on, which is just on the other side, right here. You can see the stuff on the ground through the bars. I think it's really clever and just kind of darkly funny that you can just see the stuff you need. You just need to get right through here. Just You just need to get like a, a meter over there and you'll be there. That's where I needed to go and yet I had to go through this whole big gauntlet just to get there. It took me like a, an hour or something to get there, an episode or two, just to get to the other side of these bars because we had to go the long, long, long way. I just think that's really funny. Of course, now it's easy because we have this car that allows us to get through. Okay. Next thing, I have to decide whether to let Cynthia up or not. I'm pretty sure they're going to chase me, even into other screens, I suspect. So we're probably going to have to run. That shouldn't be that big of a deal because we're about to get the hell out of here anyway. So I kind of don't want to take the sword out in case they really do chase me. I mean, what if it like leads to a different end or something? I can imagine a scenario where the end fight gets harder because you have to fight against Cynthia as well as something else. Probably not, but... I don't know, I just feel like they're going to chase me to the ends of the earth. So I kind of want to leave them pinned down. But then again, on the other hand, if I leave the sword here, chances are... I'm never going to have it again, because there's no way to come back to old places. As soon as you've switched to another world, you have no control over which world you go to. By going through the hole, so... I'll never be able to come back here. So I think I'm going to take it, which means we're going to have to run. <laughs> Although, actually, I can't run because Eileen can't run, really. I guess we'll fast walk down to the train. Here we go. Ooh, oh my god. That's new. Jesus Christ, that's fucking creepy. Oh no, where did they slither off to? Uh... Are they getting up just next to me or what? I don't know, fuck them. F oh, stop it, please. Or do I use the thing? Or do I use the thing, please? Please. Uh, right here, I think. Where did they go? Wait, where did they go? Are they. No, no, they're still here. They're still here. Come on, fuck. You know, it's, I think, I, stop, stop, stop. I think I need to use it on this thing. Yes. Whew. Yeah, they're going to chase me. They're definitely going to chase me. Let's go. Fast walk. Come on. to a state save here. Uh, I'd like to drink a nutrition drink, but I don't have one. The med kit's a little overkill, I think. Are we going to have to fight those things coming out of the wall on the way down, just like the way up? I've never gone down this escalator before. I, I mean, I can't really protect Eileen. Never mind, I guess I kind of can. No, 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 look, damn it. Okay, there we go, I think we're good. Yeah. Whew. Hope Eileen catches up. 
Please catch up, Eileen. Oh, we got a ghost in here. Oh, wait. That's... Yeah, it's Cynthia. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. car moved about one car length. Oh, we're not we're not like going somewhere? Also, I just heard them take damage. Should I just forget about stopping them from taking damage? It's seeming like it's kind of impractical. Yeah, I looked up whether it matters if Eileen gets hurt and uh, I mean, I didn't want to dig too deep because I don't want a bunch of spoilers, but I don't think it does. I don't think it's going to be like, you get the bad ending because Eileen was hit twice. I think it should be fine. It does sound like if you leave Eileen alone for a long amount of time, they can become more possessed. I don't quite understand what that means because they don't seem to be possessed at all. Maybe that refers to something that happens later, or maybe they just go from no possession to partially possessed. I don't know. Anyway. Come on, Eileen, let's go. I know it's fun to whip him, but... Oh, I can finally go through here. Eileen! Wait, is that an extra one? Some kind of strange sword. Another sword of obedience? Oh! Okay, that's almost like just hitting me over the head that I should probably pin down Cynthia, huh? I should probably just pin them down, shouldn't I? Okay. Ugh. We got a lot of other ghosts, but I did stab them, even if my medallion did run out. Eileen? Eileen? I can't just leave Eileen. They're right there! Uh. Ugh. Just a vision? Oh, no! No! No, no, no. No, they're not just a vision. Whip him good! Whip him good! Can I stab you with a sort of obedience? Okay, let me hit them, let me hit them. Are they dead? I could still move their body, but I think they're dead? Maybe? I'm gonna use my medkit, I desperately need that. Okay, weird. I'm pretty sure that wasn't them them, that was probably like a clone or a copy or something. Fuck, I don't know. I thought they were in the door in front of us, but apparently they came behind us, I guess. So I was like, just a vision? Because then we were left looking at this door and there's no one there. Wow. Remember we went down, what the hell just... Something just went down this thing, like a little elevator shaft. Anyway, we went down for a long time on something like this. Now we go even further down. And there's yet more blood. Yeah, there's things going down those little rails or whatever. Got five shots in this thing. Uh, 
I would appreciate a hole right about now. Wait, what is this? This is just horrible. Yeah. What am I looking at? It's like somebody on their knees in a, a bathroom or something. It's like a tiled place. They're on their knees, they have their arms out. Looks like there's somebody very tall, like inhumanly tall, looking down at them. Is this another hole? Yes. What's that noise? Oh. It's the clock. It's going all over the place. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I have one more candle. Uh, let me do a state save just to make sure I don't mess this up. Get the hell out of my house. <sighs> I put away that commuter ticket, grabbed a health drink, took 10 more rounds for the pistol with me. I should reload that actually. Okay, let's go. I forgot to save it. I have my save states though, so it's fine. Probably. Unless I make a safe state in a really, really bad place. Don't worry about it. wish house and around Walter Sullivan's grave oh grave is extra creepy now that I knew, know who was in it. Grave has been dug here. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers 11, 1, 21. Has this grave been freshly dug or something? I swear to it's got like weird brownish dirt right around it. Carved in the stone, it says, Tread there, and thy home shall be made unto hell by the power of the Lord. Oh, can you read these all? Something very interesting about it. Oh, hey. Something on the back of that one. Is this stuff new, or did I just never notice it before? Some carved some kind of weird writing. Oh, it's more that writing that they can't read. I also don't think that was lit before. We're probably going to end up going to the Mother Stone. Okay. Oh, there's a hole right here? Right. Well, no real reason to do that. Ooh, 
Ooh, health drink. Okay, Eileen, don't attack the dogs. Just walk, okay? Just walk. We'll see how this goes. Almost at the wish house. Thing that happened there. I can read this writing. It looks like some kind of a diary. You can? Here goes. October 15th. Bob is gone. Nobody will tell me what happened. I bet. Ugh, I can't read any more than that. Why can you read it? That's odd. But yeah, the last thing that happened here is that chocolate milk person was was burned alive or burned themselves alive. Not sure which. Probably was burned. Um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of fire there. Makes sense the whole place would go down. Anything left in the rubble? A note on the ground. Something's here, but nothing's here. I feel something from the well. Something's missing. Ah, it has begun. Jasper. Jasper, was that the name of the chocolate milk person? I feel something from the well. Something's missing. Okay, we've seen a couple wells around this place. I remember every time I've looked down, or tried to look down one of them, it said it's too dark to see anything. But I need to pay special attention to them. Ooh, another candle. Yes. What is this? Oh, I thought that might be a golf club. I think it's a burned lamp or something. I don't know. Uh, something. A charred doll's body is sitting in the wheelchair. There's a message carved into it. Though my body be destroyed, I will not let you pass here. To prepare for the receiver of wisdom, I cut my body into five pieces and hid them in the darkness. Do I need to find them? Hid them in the darkness. Well, the wells were too dark to look in. Are there five pieces of the body in, in five separate wells? When my body is once again whole, the path to below will be opened. If you are the receiver of wisdom, you will understand my words. Well, I guess I'm the receiver of wisdom. Because I get it. The ritual has begun. Wheelchair doll text. The thing is, though, it's a doll. Right? Do I need human body parts or just doll parts? Mannequin parts. Because I've seen mannequin parts, like, at the cemetery. There was a bunch. A whole bunch of them. But it's... No, it's got to be talking about the wells. Everything's been hinting towards that. How can I see down one of the wells, though? The only source of light I seem to have is the candle, but I don't think it's going to allow me to see it down. That's for... Purifying my house of ghostly spirits. The thing is, though, think about this. You can just put down candles anywhere, right? Which suggests that Henry has matches or a lighter or something to just make light. So they should always have access to something that can make at least a little bit of light. Anyway, I'm going to head back. More? There's more already? Uh...
What the fuck? Those look like the doll, don't they? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's weird. Get the hell out of my house. Okay, I was about to say, are they just going to stay there? <laughs> Thank God. Oh, hey. It's another note. My theory is that Walter never died at the prison. It may have been someone else who committed suicide. Either that or the person the police arrested was not the real Walter Sullivan. I'm in no position to investigate what really happened at the prison, but in any case, Walter didn't die at the prison. The man with the coat that showed up here was the real Walter. Seven years ago, he did something in that apartment. I'm certain there's a link between that and the bizarre things that have been happening here. Just a little bit more and I'll have this whole thing figured out. I may even find that the real Walter is somewhere nearby. I may even find that the real Walter is somewhere nearby. July 18th. Well, that differs with my idea a little bit. I want to look at that again. It may have been someone else who committed suicide. Either that or the person the police arrested was not the real Walter Sullivan. See, my idea is that it was the real Walter Sullivan. My idea was that they realized that they could, they themselves could be the 11th victim. They don't need necessarily to kill someone else to have an 11th victim. They killed themselves, made themselves the 11th victim. How they went on living after that, got out of their casket, whatever happened, I have no idea, but it doesn't exactly like strain belief that they could have done something to stay alive given all the weird stuff we've seen. Hmm. And the real Walter Sullivan is somewhere nearby. What does that mean? Like the real Walter is just hanging out in the walls or something? Is there a mummified corpse in the wall? Is it the umbilical cord? Okay, so as far as my inventory, I stored away one of the health drinks, so I just kept one on me. And I also took the only other spirit medallion that I have. This is one that I put away a while ago because it's very, very close to broken. You can barely even see it in the inventory if it's not selected, but it's something. Protect me for maybe a 30 seconds or something, at best. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to find the five body parts that we need to put on the doll.